Hi, and welcome. I'm Rosanna Lupian, the Health Pathway Coordinator at the Grossmont Unified High School District. And I'm here today to share the HEAVY internship with you. HEAVY stands for Health Exploration Virtual Internship. In the past, we, have always, we had always run a HESI internship, which is Health Exploration Summer Institute. But because of COVID and distance learning, we had to move to a virtual platform. So I'm here to share with you that virtu what, what that virtual internship program looks like. So let's get started. So we're six weeks into this internship and we've got 50 students involved. Um, and they were asked to share out some words um, that describe the internship experience for them thus far. And as you can see, it looks like a pretty positive experience for everybody. 86% of our interns are in this internship in order to determine if they are a good fit for the medical field. So with that in mind, um, the internship was developed and it has three pieces to it. It has the doing piece, the digital clinical experience, the educational piece whereby the students take medical termino terminology classes one and two for 10, credit, for 10 high school credits. They also are... Um, figuring out their uh, taking a personality inventory and um, getting a RIASEC score. And from that, they can explore career pathways that are specifically designed for their RIASEC score. And in addition, they are Zooming with Sharp Hospital employees and having the opportunity to ask questions and get to know more about what it's like to work in a hospital setting. Let's look a little closer at Shadow Health. So um, Shadow Health is a is an online digital platform and it's becoming quite popular in nursing and medical schools because there's just not enough actual clinical experiences for students. There's just not enough placements. So an easy way is to, for students to learn in the virtual world before they go out to the, the actual um, patient world. So um, it's a very popular program. It's used in our adult education program at the Health Occupation Center for their, their LVNs. Um, so let's take a closer look at Shadow Health and see what it looks like from the student size. So as you can see, it's, it's quite realistic looking. Here's their patients. Um, here's the activities that they do with the patients. And here we are. Let's watch this video. Just a small piece of it. Our, Our health, health assessment, assessment assignments, assignments are designed to help students achieve proficiency in core subjective and objective data collection skills. These assignments are designed to pair both with system by system and concept based courses on a week by week basis. In each patient assignment, students practice interviewing with our patented conversation engine. How often do you smoke? I've had like three cigarettes ever. It wasn't a big deal. And they work on their physical assessment skills with our detailed exams. These physical exams provide students with high quality images and sounds of normal and abnormal findings. And importantly, students demonstrate their ability to correctly process the objective data they uncover. With our virtual patients, students develop a strong foundation of the essential skills they need to perform real life examinations of their patients. As you saw in your demonstration, there are four types of assignments. Single system exams where students interact with Tina Jones throughout the course of the hospital stay building proficiency, assessing one system at a time. Focused exams in which the students assess patients across the lifespan, each presenting with a different chief complaint. I don't feel so good. I keep coughing and I feel a little bit tired. I don't feel right. There's a heavy pressure in my chest all of a sudden. I have pain in my belly and I'm having some difficulty with going to the bathroom. My daughter was concerned. 
anatomical concept labs where students review anatomy and physiology and practice identifying normal and abnormal sounds. And a head-to-toe comprehensive assessment where students can put it all together. These simulations both build and strengthen your students' core assessment skills, but also challenge them to synthesize their knowledge and develop their clinical reasoning skills. Our Health Assessment DCE gives students essential practice with interviewing and physical examination, but there are also many additional types of practice opportunities built into the assignments. These opportunities include documentation, scored education and empathy items, health promotion, cultural considerations, nursing diagnosis, SBAR simulations, and more. In health assessment, we meet your students where they are, allowing them to begin developing skills they will build upon throughout their undergraduate education. We know health assessment is foundational for students, and as more schools move online, faculty are challenged to decide how they are going to teach these core assessment skills in an online environment. So as you can see, or as you heard, um, we are being challenged um, to provide educational um, opportunities to our students and it looks like the virtual world is 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 becoming um, more and more useful as we as we um, as students build their skills so i really enjoyed the um the the authenticity of these patient interactions as i myself worked through some of these cases and the students again i as I said earlier, it was their favorite piece. So now I'd like with, for you to listen to a student testimonial um, regarding this um, shadow health. Hi, I'm Bianca and I'm a senior of Valhalla High School. So something that I learned this week at Shadow Health was that your bedside manner actually matters a lot with your patients. So like, for example, we had to educate and empathize um, a few times with Tina Jones during our time with her or if we didn't, we would get points marked off. So just what that shows is that relieving our patients of their emotional distress is just as important as treating their physical injuries. Because um, after all, they're coming to see medical professionals to um, just have comfort and relieving them from their um, stress and worry is an important part of our job as well. Um, a way that I can relate this to friends and family is to just pay attention to the smaller details like skin discoloration, eye discoloration, any of that. Um, like for example, if you have yellowish skin or like a yellowish color in your eyes, then that probably indicates liver problems. So that was Bianca and I'm so impressed with her ability to connect with patients and understand the importance of empathy. Um, let alone, you know, she's learning the diagnostic um, skills and how to interview, but she's also learning how to have a real connection with her patients through this digital experience. So um, during the nine week internship, the students um, every week, they visit a different system and they go into quite a bit of detail for, with each system. And at the end of the, um, the shadow health unit, they end up doing a a large comprehensive exam that covers all of these um, these these areas. So um, they really uh, finish up this internship quite knowledgeable, and it's very impressive to see how well they're they're um, handling all this information along with their regular school assignments. Okay. So um, the second part of our um, internship is the Acellus Medical Terminology class. And the interns are exploring structures, functions, and terms related to disease in the body systems. And I felt like this was such a perfect pairing with shadow health because in shadow health, again, there's a lot of terminology, a lot of diseases that the students are being exposed to, and they really needed to have a foundation. So this class provides that foundation for the students. Um, it's an A through G approved course. So that's why they're getting their 10, um, elective credits if they complete both classes. Um, and I can actually show you um, the, um, all the units of study that, they're, um, that they go through in the two courses. 
So as you can see, it's, it's a lot of information. This is an online class. So as an instructor, um, it's really straightforward. The, it, they, it's self-paced by the students. Um, they get scored by the program and graded. So it's, it's not a lot of time for me, although I do like to touch base with the students on a week, weekly and see how they're doing and um, offer words of encouragement as they work through the curriculum. Okay, so a testimonial for Acellus. We'll listen to Fadia. Hello, my name is Fadia. I'm a senior at Alcohol Valley High. From Acellus, I have learned about a myriad of topics ranging from root words, like why we use the words we use in order to create medical terms, diseases, the structure of the body, body systems and their functions, pregnancy, um, as well as procedures done to ensure the health of the patient. One thing I enjoy about Acellus is how it provides a progress report where you can keep track of how many videos you have left and for the week to achieve your goal. Um, I also like how the videos are short and to the point, which helps the students stay engaged. Um, what Acellus has 100% exposed me to the medical world. Many word terms, pathologies, procedures were unknown to me before taking these courses. Um, because of it, I'm now more thrilled to be part of such a rewarding life career. Well, thank you so much, Fadia, for that. What a wonderful spokesperson you are for the Acellus um, Medical Terminology class. So moving forward, our uh, third piece in the internship is a uh, personality and career exploration using um, Vita Novice. And Vita Novice is a program purchased by our school district. So I was lucky we already had that available for our students. Um, it's not widely used. So um, I just kind of jumped into it and had the kids do the super strong inventory and learn their RIASEC score. And as you can see from the pie chart, um, uh, a, quite a few of our students are investigative and as well as realistic and social. So I guess those are the hallmarks of future medical professionals. Um, once they know their RIASEC, they then um, do a career exploration uh, in specifically in the health pathway. So hopefully they'll have a better understanding of the niche that they could fill within the health career. Um, we also um, Zoom with Sharp Grossmont Hospital and the medical professionals there, and that's a weekly Zoom, and the students ask wonderful questions, and they're, they are given um, a lot of very practical and inspirational advice from those medical professionals. So it's really nice to have that connection with the hospital, even though we're virtual. And then finally, the students do a SWOT analysis, which is a strength, weakness, and opportunities and threats um, analysis. Um, in doing this, they, um, they get to think about what are the opportunities in front of me that I can participate in to overcome my, my threats or my perceived threats. So um, for example, this young man said that a threat is that individuals appear more professional and his opportunity is well, I can refrain from using improper tone of voice or amateurish language, um, thereby coming across as more professional. So it really gets the students thinking about how they can improve um, um, themselves. So the internship is very cost um, effective. It's only $145 per student. Uh, that includes the shadow health license, the medical terminology. I also buy stethoscopes and scrubs, a scrub top for the students. So um, it's it's very affordable as compared to the summer internship, which costs close to $400 a student with the background checks and uh, um, the drug screenings. Um, we have to pay for a staff member to be at the hospital with the students. Um, so that's summer 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 school pay. So it's very, very expensive. This internship can accommodate um, double the students um, throughout the course of the year. 
uh, no, not even double, oh, triple the students, triple the students. So instead of 30, we can have 90 students do a virtual internship. So it's a, it's a great, uh, it's a great um, program because it's, it allows more students, more opportunities. Okay, so if you're interested in starting your own internship program, I suggest you find out what kind of programs your school already has in place. And if you dig deep into those programs, you might find pieces of them that are, are underused that you could actually capitalize in your internship. So for example, um, a CELUS, we have a CELUS, but we weren't ever using the medical terminology class. So it was a perfect fit. Um, the HOC was using shadow health, but our school, our high school students had never seen shadow health. So again, we, we had the, um, the expertise from health occupation center to say, Hey, this is a really great software. Why don't you use it with your high school kids at its lowest level? Um, another thing you can seek out local partnerships. Many, many organizations are looking for ways to partner with our high school students, especially virtually. So that could be another piece that can be added into your internship. And once you get all of these programs and your funding and your partnerships pulled together, you can kind of map out your, what your internship is going to look like in a comprehensive, realistic and empathetic way. And I say empathetic because these students are, are really putting a lot, they're really stuffing a lot into their day. And so I try to, um, to um, make sure that I'm not expecting the demands aren't so great that they're just overwhelmed and want to drop out. And to summarize the internship, the, our timeline is nine weeks. I think 12 weeks would actually be better because then I can fit in some community service, especially when we're we're out of this distance learning environment. Um, the interns earn 100 hours, up to 100 hours of internship credit if they fulfill all the requirements, and they can earn up to 10 high school credits as well. They are guaranteed a unique clinical medical experience. They're learning communication skills, critical thinking, and how to have empathy for patients. This is all done in a safe virtual learning environment in which the students are self-paced and they can build confidence and self-reflect. All the while they're discovering their academic and interpersonal skill set, which will ultimately allow them to make better informed career choices. So this is just a wonderful way for students to start looking into their future, especially during their senior year. And it's also a great thing to put on their college application, um, this internship. I'd like to share with you um, one final student and his um, summation of the internship. Hey everyone, I'm David Awakim. I'm a senior at Granite Hills High School. I participated in this first wave of the heavy internship and I can really speak to its merits and how wonderful of a program it was. Firstly, I was able to do it in the first place because it's a virtual program that has a very flexible time arrangements. I can make it work with my schedule and my assignments for that week. And that's extremely helpful as an IB diploma student with piles and piles of work to do. It makes it more accessible for a wider variety of people. And I think it makes it no less rigorous or um, a commitment than a physical internship. Because for example, that SAIS course really takes a lot of time, a lot of dedication and a lot of effort to get through. It's 132 activities in the span of four and a half weeks, which is just, it's not easy to get through and it's a big commitment. Additionally, they teach you patient-centered healthcare with the shadow health activities. Those are just wonderful, fascinating and educational and really teach you a lot about what it takes to be a healthcare professional. As an example, uh, just last week, we had a shadow health assignment on the cardiac system and the heart. And in that one, the patient that you're doing an examination with actually has a heart attack in the middle of the examination. And it's up to you as a healthcare provider, a virtual healthcare provider, to be able to notice that, hey, their blood pressure is dropping, but their heart rate is increasing. These numbers don't look okay. Let me call a superior. And 
that experience, I feel, is just invaluable for future healthcare professionals. I mean, knowing what to do in those kind of stressful situations before they actually happen will quite literally save lives. Well, there's another example of a wonderful, heavy intern sharing out his experience. Thank you so much, David. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's listened to, listened to me about this internship. And if you have any questions, uh, you can find me at rlupian at guhsd.net. And I'd like to give a special thank you to Grossmont Hospital District who funded this program and to our student intern contributors, Xander, David, Badia, Adrian, Monica, and Bianca. Thank you.